Hi guys, this video is about the cloud downloader of cloud. First, we should clarify what off cloud exactly is. Off cloud offers the possibility to directly download files from one click hostess. You can also transfer these files into your cloud storage. Additionally, files from the Usenet and the torrent network can be downloaded. But these files must be transferred to a cloud before downloading it to your computer. You can add NZB files, torrent files or one click hostess links to the web interface and define the target of your files. For this purpose, you get 100 GB in your off-cloud account. I am running a QNAP NAS at home and tried to test the push to FTP functionality from off-cloud. This function is not compatible with my QNAP NAS at all. You have to define a certain path where the files will be stored, but this is not possible in the off-cloud interface. Additionally, it seems that off-cloud does not support encrypted transfers. The next thing I tried was the transfer of a torrent file to mega.nz, but the torrent was for more than 10 hours in the status downloading and nothing happened. It is also possible to transfer files to Dropbox, but does this really make sense? You just get 2GB for free in a Dropbox account and if you want more you have to pay for it. I would consider this as senseless. The transfer to off cloud is a good idea. You get 100GB with your paid account and can transfer the files very quickly and download it via your web browser. As already mentioned, the transfer to FTP failed. I did another test with Mega and Usenet and this time it worked fine. The files were transferred to my Mega account without any problems. I did some speed tests for Torrent, Usenet and one click hoster files and always got full speed. Nothing to complain about. Offcloud has some limits in place, as you can see on this page. In my opinion, the limits are very strict. I couldn't find any information about the torrent limits. Only the 100GB storage seemed fair for me. How does the Usenet download normally work? You have an application which automates everything for you. You just insert the NZB file and the download and unzipping happens automatically. Offcloud makes it more complicated. You do not get login credentials for a Usenet server, instead all files have to be transferred to the cloud and then downloaded to your PC. After the download, you have to manually unzip the downloaded files. Let's take a look at the features. You can add your off-cloud account to JDownloader and download the files in full speed. Off-cloud offers two different Chrome extensions and the support could not make clear why and for what purpose. The interface is complicated and not always easy to understand and viable information is missing. The support was always fine. I got fast answers and the ticket system is clear. They also told me that it is on their roadmap to add an FTP folder path, which would make FTP compatible to my QNAP NAS. Prices are high in my opinion. The monthly account is the same price as an original uploaded account, but you have got stricter limits with off-cloud. Let's come to an end. I cannot really see the advantage of transferring my files into cloud storage. The only thing which would be interesting for me is the push to FTP function, but it didn't work as I would need it. If you find it useful, then off-cloud may be something for you, but for me a regular multi-hoster is a better choice. The limits for one-click hosters are too strict compared to other multi-hosters. 